Hi, welcome to Orlando Obsession, and this is our top rides, our top coming attractions for 2019 and a little bit beyond. Yes. So exciting. Yes. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so it'd be rude not to open with Star Wars. Star Wars is coming in a big way to Orlando and, and Disneyland, actually. Yes. And Paris. Disney and... Disneyland Resort is going to be first, it's, and it's not that far away. No, it's not. It's not. But we, this, is, this is all about Orlando, so yes. let's cover the Orlando one. And it's going to be huge. Galaxy's Edge is coming with the Millennium Falcon ride. Some other ride. Runaway Run. Smuggler's Run. Yes. <laughs> Runaway Run. What? <laughs> Well, you know I me, I'm, I'm a Star Wars fan. These are going to be huge, huge, huge new rides. If Millennium Falcon, if the if that's as good as we're expecting, it will be the best ride on the planet. I think it's going to be better than Pandora's uh, Flight of Passage. I don't know, that's a heck of a ride. I think it has to be, because as good as Flight of Passage is, they've got to raise the bar with Star Wars. This is their Harry Potter. This is their big attraction. Yeah, this is going to be their money maker. This is where, this is yes. where they pull it all back from Universal. It really is. Everyone has high hopes for these new Star Wars rides. They're going to be huge and the parks are going to be so, so busy when these open. Just to keep that in mind. Right, so following on from that. Yeah. Very exciting news coming out of uh, Universal Orlando. Some people are saying that it's going to be the ride that challenges Star Wars. I think it's going to be, right. be incredible. But I think this new Harry Potter ride looks even better, to be honest with you. When I go to Harry Potter land now, it's so immersive. It, I mean, I've seen it countless times, well, about 12, but <laughs> it it still takes my breath away. Yeah. It still blows me away at just how incredible the immersion levels are in both the Harry Potter parks and the train to connect them and the wands and the merchandise. It, it, Do you know when you walk in through the wall, what's the wall bit called? Into, from London? Into, yeah, into from, Diagon Alley. From di into Diagon Alley. Yeah. Nocturne? No. Nocturne. The Nocturne's off to the side. Yeah, but when you first walk in from like where the bus is and things, and you walk in and you see the bank and you see the dragon and you're like... Oh, it's wonky. I'm here, I'm in a yeah, film. It's... Add to that... Yes, this new ride that's come in. And it looks amazing. We've seen like... The, the, like, the technology preview. Yes. Like a wireframe of what you think the ride is going to look like. Oh. <laughs> and it's so long. It's a very, very long ride. You get your value for money on this. It's like it's, it's about the same length as the train, mm. as the Hogwarts Express. It's a very long ride. It's about eight minutes or something. And you think, oh, eight minutes. That's a really long ride if you compare yeah. that to some, you know, some Most other rides. Most coasters are two or three minutes. Yeah. So it's, it's going to be a heck of a bang for your buck. So that's coming to so. Universal. That's their big, big Harry Potter ride. And we were expecting a name for the ride in the next few weeks. Yes, it's opening soon. It's opening this year, isn't it? It is opening this year. Okay, what else have we got? Back in Disney. And this is a bit of a bittersweet one. They've closed the great movie ride, which anybody who's been there recently would have seen. It's kind of like a picnic dining spot with desserts <laughs> and... A couple of hats. A couple of hats. Yeah, weird now but they are opening what looks like an interesting dark ride Minnie and Mickey's Runaway Railway, Runaway Railway. Railway. Yes. It's, a, Runaway it's a Mickey Railway. Mouse ride we haven't we don't actually have many Mickey Mouse rides no we don't it looks quirky you know if you play video games it kind of reminds me of Paper Mario it has this odd sort of quirky style but it's got this weird looking the screens flip and it's funny it looks like it's a comedy slapstick sort of ride I think it's gonna be good I think it's gonna be a really good little ride originally I didn't like the design Designs outside because they're all based on the new cartoon style. They are. It's, very, it's the modern CGI. Yeah, Mickey. and I don't like it if I'm honest. But that doesn't mean I'm not looking forward to the ride. Not Moving on. on. Moving on. So there is Guardians of the Galaxy <sighs> roller coaster come in to replace Ellen's energy adventure. It's gonna be awesome. When we, <clears throat> well, I mean, we left like a month ago. The frame for that building is enormous. It's huge. It, it fill, if, if you're looking at, if you're in a high-rise hotel, it dominates the skyline. It's as big as the Epcot ball. It's not as tall, but it's wider. They've just taken some track in. It's basically going to be a another bar raising roller coaster, a new just like rock and roller coaster was. It was one of the, it was a top experience. Yes. This is basically a magnetic launch system, so it's gonna have that high speed accelerated launch which you're familiar with if you've been on a health or if you've been on a rock and roller coaster. But also you're gonna oh, a cheetah run also has <gasps> a magnetic launch system. Yes. Which so we know scary, how good they scary are. Scary cheetah run. Combine that with rotating seats. They spin a bit like a Chester and Festers, Hester's, what's it called? It's primeval World. Primeval World, that's But we it. call it Primeval Hill. Yeah, so it's going to be, <laughs> it's kind of like a cross between that and Rock and Roller Coaster. So magnetic launch system with inversions and spinny cars and Guardians. You'll find me in the gift shop. 
I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> I'm yeah. hoping it's this year because this programme's called New Rides for 2019. And beyond. And beyond. We just add that on. Yeah, we'll add that in to cover ourselves. Another thing coming to Epcot is the Ratatouille ride. Mm -hmm. I mean, they've already got it in Paris. Yes, and it's fun. It's the best ride in, in Paris, so. It's trackless, isn't it? It's the new yeah. sort of trackless it's, technology. It's kind of similar to Ellen's Universe of Energy in that really? big moving cinema ride, but in a fully 3D digital experience. Chasing a mouse. Chasing a mouse. And the tables. Yeah. I think it's going to be 3D. good. And I think they need something there as well. Adults and kids can ride together uh, yeah. to be able to pull the younger audience into Epcot because there isn't really a lot for them there at the and, moment. And frankly, it's about time Epcot got some love. Yes, I'm very excited about the rides. Epcot love. It needs right. Epcot love. Quickly approaching, Isn't which it? leads us on quite nicely to another ride that I am I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. I don't know if it fits in with where it's going. <laughs> Well, Thorland. Yes, but it is the, the Neutron light cycle. Yeah. Forster. So, again, you know, like we just said, we haven't long come from there. Not a lot of work going on that you can You, you can can't see it. Actually it's see. all behind the trees. I don't actually know this. I don't know whether it's based on the Tokyo Tron light cycle ride or not. But if it is, that's going to be a hell of a ride. It's going to need some decent space as well. Something a little bit different, though. Over to Bush Gardens. Over to Bush Gardens. Tiny yes. Gris, a new coaster. Yes. Now, look, Bush Gardens rarely disappoint. Their coasters are always a worthwhile. People don't go to Bush Gardens nearly enough. No, no. More than that. And we're going to cover this in yeah, another yeah. video, yeah. But, but, I mean, their coasters, if you like coasters, go to Bush Gardens and Tigris looks like it's going to be a real stormer. It's going to be the world's fastest and tallest launch coaster. Yeah. So And it looks insane. So so that's coming to Bush Gardens. And the rumours are it's late 2019, very yes, early 2020. They're trying so... to get in for the next year season. Yeah. And Bush Exciting, fast, not, yes. push throw the rides up. Let us say, yep, yeah, ride. Think, well. Moving on. This <clears> is all mine. So Lightning McQueen's Racing Academy. <gasps> How exciting. Yeah, it's basically the, the, the you know, the, from, from, from Cars 3, when he's clamped on the, on the mm -hmm. simulator. So it's, it's that, from what I understand. So the, it says it's going to be a live <clears> theatre show, and it's already under construction. It looks like a fast tournament on this one. It's opening soon. There hasn't been a great amount of detail about it. No, it's lots of speculation. Mm, which which is fine. Yeah. Because I do like a surprise. And it's a good solid franchise. Yeah. Fine. That park is going to be busy. It's going to be bouncing. There's so much busy. happening in, in, in all of the parks. I mean, so much in the next couple of years is opening there. Yes. A little bit left field. Going out of the parks, one of the least popular parks, but rapidly becoming a must-do, Legoland. They're opening an entire new land. They've got new coasters. They've got um, bricks. the Battle of Bricksville, which is like a, like, a, a, like a combat thing where you can shoot other cars. So you can make a, like sort of like a bumper car like fighty thing. There's the Masters of Flight. There's like a Lego, there's a Lego movie themed roller coaster opening there. There's a ton of stuff. It's a dark ride. Oh, it's going to be such... I've, I still haven't been. No. But... From what I hear, you know, you can spend a good, you know, half a day there. Kids, plenty of space for kids to like Big. run about. The gardens and... are nice. You can yeah. chill out. It's a good relaxing day. So, so I think it's going to go on the list soon. And that's the other side of it is play their cards right and people will go to those parks. We've seen, I don't know, too, too off topic in here, but we saw like Little China, uh, Glorious China, which failed, but... If they got the marketing right, the amount of the volume of people nearby could have worked. The same with um, lots of the Kissimmee and International Drive attractions. Splendid China. Splendid China, that's the one. <laughs> I was like, what's the name? Splendid China. And that was an amazing place. And yet, you know. Beautiful. Also, we've got um, the Skyliner. I don't think we can talk about 2019 without talking about this Skyliner. No, it's going to change the face of Disney World. This is, I'm so excited about I it. I hope to get it right, but me too. It's I mean, also a ride. We talked a couple of weeks ago on the news about the the air conditioning yeah. and things like that um but oh i can't wait i just hope that there aren't going to be three hour queues to ride this i mean there are going to be when it opens there's a new slide coming to aquatica i really like aquatica i think it's a little bit lost now that volcano bay is opened but it's it's a lovely little park yeah. and everything's a lot closer together and they've got the fast wrap the body rapids I, as well and i, I love I, them i i i not into Volcano Bay because I can't be bothered getting a bus. I oh. want to be able to park by the gate and I just don't want to be public transporting. For me, I could go there, but do I want to have to change out of my swimming costume and yeah. put clothes on? It's a deal breaker for me. Or sit on a bus in wet swimming? No. 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 That's the problem. I mean, you, no the Disney thanks. ones, you can park right by the gate. The parking is ample and convenient. Same as Aquatica. And free. And free. And once you've got to change, even if you valley park for Aquatica, you've still got to get a bus. 
Uh, for Volcano Bay, yeah. they're still going to get a best. It's not for me. So, and when, when they sort that out, then. But 2019, it is looking huge, incredible. The amount of stuff that's ramping up between now and 2022, but particularly next year, huge. Yeah, I think 2019 is going to be the biggest year in I can for remember. a very, very I mean, long other, time. Other, other than a brand new park opening, it's, it's huge. So there you go. Well, what, what do you think? Are you excited? Drop your comments below. Tell us what you think your favourite ride is going to be. What are you most excited about next year? Are you going back next year? Is it your first time? next year oh what a first time to go what a time to be alive you might want to watch our video on the uh on the top tips, top tips for your for first, first time. time yeah that might help <laughs> coming up so there you go um if, as always if you like our show hit that like button and if you don't like it well not the boo dislike button never mind just one last person in front of us on star wars true fact popping up over there is the last show we put out and below that is the one youtube thinks you should watch next as always, comment, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. We'll see you in the very next show. Bye. Bye.